Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da. Habatifillah, a question was asked. Ustad, I'm suffering from jinn and magic. People are doing it on me due to me giving da'wah. They are harming me due to the people loving me. They are trying to humiliate me due to my sins. But they are working with the people of bid'ah and the devils try to take me out from the da'wah scene. Uh, first and foremost, it's very important to always remember what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, If you seek support, seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So seek the refuge and the support and the assistance from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and isti'adha min al-jinn wa nas as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered, that you should seek refuge in Allah from mankind and the jinn. So that means doing ruqya, that means kathra to dua, that means kathra to uh, lots of dua, and lots of adhkar, make lots of adhkar. And as you mentioned about yourself, is part of the harm that you're experiencing is due to your own sins. So what's very important is always to have ikhlas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your intention and ibti'ad an al-ma'asi wal dhunub and staying away as much as you can from sinfulness and wickedness. This is not easy. But by rectifying yourself Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rectify your affairs. And don't seek the love of the people, but seek the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of these things, they require ikhlas. And it isn't something that comes overnight, but it's something that you exercise within yourself. And it's something that every time shirk or even showing off or riyah or any, any of those uh, things make themselves apparent from your nafs that you have to fight until you're in the grave. So you have to strive to always make your intention pure for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and defend yourself from evil. And this is jihad and nafs. This is jihad and nafs. This is the, 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 the fighting, the striving against the wickedness of yourself, against your own desires, your own wicked desires. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to overcome and be victors over our desires and over our wicked sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many, many sins. So make kathra to istighfar as well. And perhaps it is better for you, if you're active in dawah, to pull back a bit for reflection, for rectification, rectifying yourself and your deeds. Sometimes we have to take a pause. Sometimes we need to step back. Sometimes we need to analyze. Sometimes we need to be critical, self-critical, and looking at ourselves and trying to clean ourselves and protect ourselves from the evil of ourselves and the evil of mankind and jinn. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil.